actually trying to address whether or not monkfish uh, are being managed appropriately. So our research is designed around the fact that there are currently two management areas, the northern and southern uh, management areas for monkfish, that are divided at the southern edge of uh, George's Bay. So the goals of the study are to, to determine the amount of migration that occurs between the northern and southern management areas using a variety of tagging techniques from conventional tags to more sophisticated data storage tags that actually tell you not only where you caught the fish and where it was recaptured, but what it was doing in between. We actually work collaboratively with the fishing industry to do the tagging, and so what we do is we send out uh, people or go out ourselves uh, that will go on the, a commercial fishing vessel, a commercial monkfish uh, fishing vessel, and while they're hauling in their gill nets, they're handing us the fish, and, and we are depositing two uh, anchor tags, or T-bar tags, uh, in the tail of these monkfish. Can we bring them over to the measuring table and lie them right down flat, stretch his jaw out. Measure 62.5. So we get the measurement of his total length, and we take the tagging gun just like this and stick it right by this fin right here, right to the side of it, between those spines, right in. Pull the trigger, twist, and out. We do another tag right there behind it. Trigger, twist, and pull it right out. Then we got both tags, 24259-24260, and then just as quick as we can, we put them back. Let them go. Come on. One, I mean, really uh, wonderful experience is that in the last couple of months, two of the fishermen that we've worked with have reported uh, these high reward tags where we've actually put a, you know, a data storage tag in the fish and provide a $500 reward for the recovery of these fish. And uh, it's been really exciting to get them back because we only put 150 of those out there and they tell us a lot of information both about fish movement but potentially about their migratory behavior, their movement off the bottom. And then also uh, we're using these fish to, to try to do a better job of learning how to age monkfish. GMRI has uh, historically worked very well with industry, but the monkfish fishing industry has been particularly uh, good to work with. They've been very supportive of the research, both through uh, participating in the research set-aside programs that funds the research, but then also uh, providing a lot of ins insights into the types of questions we should be asking, and also giving us uh, a platform to do this research on. You know, by taking us out on charter days or bringing us fish, for other types of studies. So it's been a, it's been really instrumental to the success of these projects.